everybody steve i'm going to share with you uh one of my favorite uh brands is the holtzman gorilla survival knife uh you need to check them out because it's, it's very high quality a fantastic price and uh just uh great customer service i'm going to show you some of the stuff i've got so far and the reason why i'm doing this i just got one today i'll show you it's just it's outrageous i love it anyway this is one of his uh it's in the multi-tool section category. You kind of push that button. And this is great for me at work because I'm in maintenance. But it's it's a box opener, razor, very heavy duty. You got bits there, so you can put it on the end here. Cool design, you got a pocket clip. That's in the multi-tool category, I would say. So I got that. I got another multi-tool of his, you've got to get and I'll tell you where it's at in a minute. Okay, I did a neck knives the other day. This is the skeleton eyes. Has the ferrule ride. Okay, this is Holtzman Gorilla. It's D2 steel. If these show wear on them, that's because I use them. This is very lightweight. It is a neck knife. So, there you go. Here's another neck knife. Has the ferrule rod. This one strikes on the edge because of the way uh, the blade is. I put the clip on it, but he now came out with a line of neck knives that this is an option. The clip comes with it, which is cool. But there's the ferrule rod. And on one side, let me get this out. You got the sharpener. You got a blade sharpener. And there's the ferrule rod. And this is D2 steel. This is super sharp. I've actually, believe it or not, see the wear on it, I have used it. And if you notice, I've got all the, uh, they call it the red line, I believe. It's more like an orange and black. That's D2 steel. And neck knife, but I use it on the horizontal. I like it that way. That's heavy duty. My all time favorite so far. This is what got me started on the Holzman Gorilla. This is a mid-size. It comes with a extra security strap. A fantastic high quality Kydex sheath. It has the clip. I wear it on the horizontal. I've used this all the time. I use it during the hurricanes. It comes with a striker right here in the front. You've got a ferrule rod here on the side. And there she is, nice mid-size. That's D2 steel. Got jipping there. These are G10 handles. You see the wear on it? Now I've thrown this and I have stuck it in like yay far. Just a fantastic sharp knife. It's still sharp. Okay, locks right into the sheath. I love his sheaths right here. And snaps for extra security, but it's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't even shake or rattle or roll. Okay, now here's the big mama. And what I've done, I'm fixing to show you the multi tool. What I've done, this is the big mama. Unstrap it. Let me show you the big mama. I'm going to take it out of the sheath so I don't hurt myself. But yeah, this is huge. I use this at work quite a bit. And I did it. We had two hurricanes hit us here, Ian and Nicole. And you can see I've done some chopping with this baby. It's sharp. It's heavy. Heavy duty. Got your lanyard hole. It's full tang. Nice grip. See the texture of the grip there? So it's nice and grippy. Okay, I'm not going to put that right back in the sheath, sheath yet. It comes with the ferrule rod. It's got the striker right here. Now what I did, I took a accessory pouch from another brand and I was able to screw it in here. Now this came with uh, the clips he gives you, but because of the weight I put on here, I went to a drop loop. This drop loop happens to fit his sheath perfect, okay? And that's kudos to him the way he designed it because you have options on the way you can do your mounts. I don't see anything wrong with that. That's what's cool about it. But inside, my idea, because of hurricane season, I learned from it. I've been through a lot of them. But I decided to put in this pouch, 
the Holtzman Gorilla multi-tool. Okay, I got the blackout version. This came with a nylon sheath. This multi-tool is fantastic. Okay, you got all your tools here. You can look it up. There's a bunch of them, but it locks right back in like so. And I just thought this was a cool idea. And the way the pouch, I mounted it was two screws here at the top. And then I did the nylon tie down here so I can get to the striker, okay? And there you go. That's the striker for the ferro rod. You can use your knife, I suppose. But anyway, yeah, this, this pouch, I'm out of camera now, I'm sorry. This pouch just buckles back up, fits it perfect. You can see how this is so helpful here. And blade drops right in there. This comes on around, nothing interferes with what it was designed for. This comes around and just buckles down. But yeah, this is the uh, Postman Gorilla. This is the uh, Bushcraft. Okay, this is this is a heavy knife. This is serious stuff right there. Okay, now this year he's coming out, he's still putting stuff out there, man. And he, he asked for your opinion. And he, he goes with the design to make it useful for everybody and make it better. He asks what our opinions are and he goes from there. I love that. Great customer service. He has a passion for his company and what he does. Okay, not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I got his folders. He came out with folders. This kind of reverse Tonto. And I picked this one because the red line this is the orange and black. They call it the red line, though. But it matches what I've done so far. You know what I mean? I just thought it was kind of cool. These folders, look at this. You see how smooth that is? And how quick it's G10 handles. Okay? Liner lock. That is smooth. That is just incredible. Okay? So, uh, I also got today... This is the scalpel, it's a neck knife. And what I liked about it, you know, I did my my, my uh, video on neck knives. I like it because of the clip and that's what I'll be using. You could set this in your pocket with the clip showing on the outside and you got you a nice little sharp little knife. This is really, really sharp. Love that, that's a little scalpel. But anyway, back to the folder. This was the larger size he came out with, and then he just he decided to go even further. He's still going. Uh, he went to a smaller size. Is that cool? And I wish, I always wish for a total blackout. And look at there, he did it. That's total blackout, black hardware. Look how snappy that is. And look at that blade. You got your jipping here. G10, G10 handles. Just a gorgeous knife. I am so happy on this blackout. Look at this. He was so adamant about over and over again, he had a design, but he just wanted that smoothness right there. And that's what we got. So anyway, I got this size folder and I got this. And you need to go like on Amazon, you can get them. I've ordered from his site uh, when I first started, and they, uh, you can get them on Amazon. So you're talking like a day or two of delivery. But check his, uh, check Holtzman Gorilla Survival Knives. And he's got all these knives, man, he's come out. I mean, he's just like uh, taking off now. I love it. Okay, y'all take care, and uh, talk to you later.